Hey guys, Coops here from The Whole Box and Dice. Hope you had an awesome pre-release for Aether Revolt. Won heaps of games and got some great cards. I know I had lots of fun. It was uh, really, really awesome. We ended up going to the, the midnight one, though I'm just kind of recovering <laughs> after the off late night for that one. But yeah, lots lots and lots of fun. Um, you know, plenty of magic being played. Saw some great pools as well. Some guy got Tezzer and Nyssa. That was annoying. That's all right. Um, I um, opened some really interesting packs. My Kaladash packs had a bit of the blue control in it, which was awesome. I love seeing that. And um, the the Aether Revolt was just a mishmash of of nothing. Had some had some half like you know had some interesting building blocks. It could have gone maybe blue white. I pulled um, a couple of things like a uh, Spy Patrol, and um, I got a SRAM as well. The Senior Edificer. So I was excited when I saw him. They're actually my first pack of Spire and a. SRAM, I got um, Indomitable uh, Creativity as well, so pumped to grab one of these. But I ended up going blue-black is, is what I got, because not just because of my, my dated card, that was the uh, Herald of Anguish, and this this guy is just a bomb that wins you the game. That I got out in turn four or turn three on, on a couple of games, which is just silly. Um, Taken to custody, this was a great card. This was super handy and limited to uh, get some unfair you know two-for-ones where they couldn't do anything, and I got another... You know, shot at them whilst tapping my stuff down. Uh, Ventral Rebel was really great as well with the Revolt trick. And I was able to play off the energy theme as well. Kind of did a sub-blue and black energy theme with Aether Swooper. This card is the bomb. It was so handy creating tokens. Um, Aether Poison was really solid as well, just giving them some pause with Death Touch. Uh, Glint Sleeve, Siphoner, and Live Far. So had some good card draw, had some good removal. Um, and you know, got some improvised spells as well, which was which was fun. So, had it, like I said, had a really really good time. Um, you know, went to three in all my matches um, that I lost. So I lost uh, one, two, went two and two over the night. Lost both of them in the third match. It was super annoying. I lost to a uh, lost to a guy with two Kari Zebs, one dated and one in a pack, which was just too much. I just couldn't deal with his board um, by the end of it. After I counted the first one, played another one. I was like, ugh. Um, and then I lost to the boat. Someone made the boat into a 10-11 with first strike and then vehicles were flying. So that was, um, oh, that made me so mad. But that's all right. Can't wait to kill you with the boat. It's going to happen. I'm going to kill you all with the boat. It's going to wreck you. So, uh, yeah, with lots and lots of fun. Um, hope you were successful as well. For you guys that maybe didn't get a chance to go down, we got one of these um, one of these boxes here with the Aether Revolt symbol on it. A cool little opening um, push to, to open trick. And we got a sticker which is kind of cool, and the little deck um, divider, which says, Reclaim our gear for um, Rengage, Rise Up, Rally at Gonti's Night Market tonight. So that was kind of a nice little touch. Uh, but, you know, what What were, my, what were kind of my, my takeaways from from the night? Um, so there's some really solid cards going forward in the limited format, um, and, you know, definitely things worth, look, you know, worth looking out for. Um, if you can play a black-white deck uh, that's really solid. I think I think that's going to be really strong in in the you know certainly on draft nights going forward. Um, cards like Audacious Infiltrator. This is an MVP. Uh, there are so many um, tokens. And there are so many um, vehicles that people look to play. The fact that this can't touch him, it's just three damage, and it's just it's really pesky. There's not a lot of removal. Um, you know, yes, you're going to come up against some shock. I didn't see shock in any of my packs though. In saying that, um, but yeah, this was this was just an MVP. This was really tricky to get around, uh, especially when you have to commit something that you potentially didn't want to lose, you know, in a trade. Um, and then also, um, also the eighth geode miner. This was another really solid creature. If you can get some energy in support of it as well, the fact that you can do the blink combat trick was um, was frustrating to deal with. Makes removal very difficult. And then Fen Hauler as well. Uh, you know, I saw I didn't, you know, I didn't verse this deck, but I saw some people that had some cards like this running around, and they were they did pretty well over the night. So I think they'll be solid in the, you know, in the in the draft environment because cards that can just get around artifact creatures, super 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 tough. So you know, for what it's worth, that's what I think is going to be uh, that's going to be annoying going forward. But you know, now that we've finished, uh, now that we've finished pre-release and we're heading towards the actual release, you know, I thought I'd just have a quick chat about you know what we kind of want to do next and. Definitely going to start doing some of the deck build challenge with Aether Revolt because there is some real fun build arounds. But I want to talk to you about some of the decks that I'm going to be putting up. So, um, you know, let me know if there's something that you want to see. But I'm thinking of doing, um, you know, something like uh, maybe Hedron Alignment, maybe like a, uh, maybe like a 
blue, black, green. I'm thinking Hedron Alignment deck, um, which could be a bit of fun. I want to do the um, Mechanized Production Bant deck, uh, which I think will just be just be broken as well. Um, that looks really fun. Mono Black Energy, which uh, looks like that will uh, be a could be a really strong deck. That I think there are going to be some mono decks, mono color decks we see back in the format now, which is awesome. You know, it's always really fun to build around, and it's just some really good spells that early on, you know, require things like double black or double blue or double green. And if you're not running mono, it's always a little bit tricky. And just the difference between being able to get them on pace um, and on curve is, can make a huge dif- difference in how viable the decks are. So I think mono black will be a thing as well. So you know, let me know in the comments if uh, if there's one of those that you want to see over some of the others or, you know, something that you want to see, you know, completely different as well. I still think red-green energy is going to be uh, going to be a fun deck as well and, and black-blue artifacts. So uh, if you've got – and maybe a, maybe a white, you know, white energy deck could be could be annoying as well. So uh, there's – like I said, there's lots of cool different decks. So let me know what you'd like to uh, see me do a bit of a, a tech on with throw up a piloted by Coops segment and, you know, I might put that deck together then take it down to F&M and – see how we go with it, then then report back. So I uh, hope you've, once again, hope you killed it, you pre-release, and you got some awesome pulls. Um, I've been Coops from the whole box and dice. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, and uh, hit the, you know, hit the bell to be subscribed so you can see the deck techs that we're going to put out and some of the some of the builds that we come up with. So thanks again, and hopefully some of the videos gave you some insight for your pre-release, and you're able to get a bit of win with some of the information that I told you about. So peace, guys.